StarCraft Nation Broadcasting, keeping you up to date and in the know. Welcome, citizen. I am your host, Venerati, and today we are going to have a series of three matchups going in between Ducklow Raw, or better known as White Raw, and Damaga. Now, guys, this is from the Blizzard Invitational Tournament that was held at BlizzCon. Uh, this is going to be a best of three, and this will be going to game three. So these guys are going to be going at it neck and neck the entire time. This is an awesome PvZ matchup. We're going to get to see some really pivotal moves here. And just really to exemplify what uh, what I consider... Uh, lower tier people, anyone that's like me or below, <laughs> I guess, we aspire to do. We're going to see some great mutalists. We're going to see a lot of stalkers and all sorts of shenanigans like that. But, focusing on the game that we have here, right in front of us, of course, Ducklow Raw is going to be the Teal Protoss, as I hope you can tell. Maybe you're colorblind and you couldn't tell, but that is Teal. And we have just the basic startup on a map like this. We are on a Metalopolis, so we are going to see some initial scouting, because this is a four-person map. So, And there's a lot of expanse as far as, you know, areas that you have to cover. Uh, of course, I mean, you could be spawning there, there, or there. If you are Ducklow Raw, you have to check all of them. However, as Demaga, you do have the Overlords. You can shoot an Overlord over there real quick and uh, really be able to tell whether you got a guy right there. And it kind of eliminates two of them, making it slightly easier. But overall, you, there's still a lot of uh, scouting you have to do here. And right here, we're seeing Ducklord Rod do a really good job. He's actually going to throw down a pylon to block the hatchery as Demaga, and instead of throwing down the early hatch, is now going to throw down the spawning pool. So he is basically going to be forced to one base it until he can get some zerglings up. He is throwing the extractor down and is going to be for I mean he's basically had to change his battle plan battle plan on the fly as this probe is still in the base, still being harassment. And whoa, getting a little uh, dangerous right there. Evil can evil probe as it was starting to go into the middle of the line. Getting it can't get itself stuck there relatively easy. However, if you do get stuck here, you can click on a mineral and your harvester will go through other harvesters. However, by that point, I believe that you will already be dead. And you did see him steal just a tiny bit of crystal away from Demaga's mineral line. So, trying to hurt Demaga in every sense of the word. And we're going to see Ducklow Chrono boosting out his economy. I don't know why this guy's going over here. Maybe to... Yep, Pylon. There we go. He is going to be the Pylon right here. Pylon placement right here is pretty pivotal for two reasons. Gives you view of your base so that you don't see any pesky Nidus worms coming down. And you can reinforce your army's and not have to walk you just all the way on to get down to there. You just spawn them in there with the warp gate technology. Right now we do have Demaga bringing these Zerglings over here, going to try to clear away this pylon, seeing two more coming on. We do see the Metabot boost coming as well, so we are going to see these Zerglings uh, used extensively throughout this game and going to try to pressure Demaga probably in the early game, seeing as he was forced to one base. We do see the pylon being dropped, and now all Demaga does needs to do is find out where Duckload Raw is and attack. However, he's going to have a hard time attacking with just Zerglings as we do have a Zealot holding position here and basically uh, sandwich, sandwiching himself in between the Cybernetics Core. And they could have a whole mess of Zerglings, but only two or three of them are actually going to be able to attack this Zealot right here. Meanwhile, the Stalker, great placement right here, right on the edge, a tiny, tiny little peninsula right there. Going to be able to DPS the ramp and all the units that are on it that are being held up by the Zealot. And we do have this probe running back over here. This probe does not want to say no, take no for an answer. All of these Zerglings are going after it. We're seeing a lot of micro, or we're seeing a little bit of micro there, trying to uh, split the forces up and trying to make it to where this probe is going to have to die eventually, as it only has one HP left. So its days are numbered, as it does try to hover along as fast as it possibly can. But no, he doesn't make it. He actually dies at the foot of Emperor Minx and is going to be, uh, yeah, accepted into heaven, as Minx would do. So anyway, we do have the Zelnaga Tower being occupied by this Zergling right here, and we see a sizable force of Zerglings mustering here on the side of the map of Duckload, as Duckload now has two Stalkers and the Zealot is still holding position. We do have the Scout Zergling coming up here, trying to figure out what exactly is going on. We have seven, no, seven. We have 25 Zerglings on the field, for Damaga, and interesting to note now, we have a 10 harvester count difference right here. So, that could really hurt Damaga if he does not start to put some money into his economy, as Ducklow Draw will be able to just walk away economy-wise, 
as the game progresses. But we actually do have some Zergling trying to come in here, going to get this around, trying to run up, thinking about running up the ramp there so momentarily. These force fields are going down, bottling up all these Zerg forces, and don't know what was up with that lag. Uh, either way, we do see the Zerglings being stuck here. Once uh, one Zerglings totally stuck in between the force fields, however, it was not able to take out the Stalker. The Stalker only has 16 health left. Great use of those force fields right here by Duckload Raw. Duckload Raw really showing that he is a veteran player in this instance, as we do see him actually starting to form a wall here, going to try to sh uh, shunt all of these uh, Zerglings into a small area, really reducing their viability and their threat levels, as I do have... There's on Incognito, the... Not owner, but the producer, the caretaker of North American Weekly. Great guy right there. However... I should put myself on away, but I did not to as I was too excited to come back here and cast this game. Actually, I cast all three of these games already, but the sound screwed up on all of them, so this is a recast. Uh, but yeah, I feel that these games were that good that I wanted to make sure and get these games out to you guys. And let's go ahead and go back to the production. Oh, there we go. Productions have... Wow, my computer's just having a heyday. Gonna, <laughs> gonna have to edit some of that out. However, we do have Duckload Raw... Coming up here with the ground, le ground weapons level 1. Oh, now I now can't use my words either. But we have a lot of... Wow, we have a lot of spine crawlers coming down for Damaga. Damaga's making quite the uh, quite the nice wall right here. As this is going to be quite a formidable, formidable defense once it all comes up online. As we do have another one coming online there. And we see the skin highway starting to come out for Damaga. Damaga really going to only benefit from this expansion of the Skin Highway. See, if you can curl it all the way around here and be right here on uh, Duckload Raw's front doorstep, it's really, not only does it help him deploy his forces quicker, but it's a psychological effect as you feel like you're being bottled in, as that can really affect the way players uh, choose to play the game. Now, we do have a Spire coming on from D Damaga, and we have another spine crawl coming here. So, Damaga appears to be digging in and is going to try to hold the line while he goes and gets his m mutalisks online. And I guess he's going to try to build a flock as we do see Duckload Raw moving out here, checking out any sort of expansion as would be right there, not seeing anything. We do see a probe being brought along with this army. It is going to queue up a pylon right here. So Duckload Raw is going to be able to reinforce his units relatively quickly. Now we do have the stalkers coming up here. <laughs> As we do see the spine crows, really not happy about these guys being here, are poking away. These Zerglings are going to try to come up here as we do see some force kills coming down. As we do see this uh, Zealot luckily backing out just in time as it had five kills. You're going to want to keep that guy around as he is a pro. Duckload Raw is retreating from this. However, there are just too many spine crawlers here. And this queen, although she does not have any sort of mana at this moment, if he had any sort of queens, he could transfuse this defensive wall and just really wreak havoc on those forces. However, we have seven Mutalisks about to come online for Damaga, and we do have weapons level one coming for air units for Damaga, so Damaga is going to be using a nice changeling right there, as uh, Duckload Rod does not notice that, and that changeling is basically just going to be able to know what is up and what is going on. Now, Duckload Rod has two bases online right now, and only has five gateways. Not sure if he's going to switch over into a different kind of tech. However, we do have Mutalis on the field. They are coming over here. These The uh, forces of Duckload Raw are trying to come up here and reinforce his main base. As we are going to see a little battle here in the main base. These Marauders, or the Marauders, these Mutals are going to be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with these Stalkers. There are a lot of Stalkers here. I don't believe that Demaga really wants to stay here. And no, he does choose to back out. Going to throw a few shots at that uh, pylon, but is going to back out. Uh... Right now, his flock of Mutalis is not strong enough to really... He hasn't hit that critical mass that is really going to make his Mutalis Swarm that deadly force that you just can't deal with. And I don't know what is up with that. I'm getting some bad lag spikes there. However, we do have the Mutalis coming up here. Going to be killing that Zealot. They're going to try to drop this pylon because the Zelnaga Tower is currently occupied by it. But we do see these Zerglings evacuating the area. The Mutalis are going to uh, actually not finish it off. It has 8 HP. Nope. Wait. Mm, are they thinking about it? No. They are not going to finish it off. As so we do have the Zergs, Zerglings coming over here to the natural. Now, this is pretty, this is pretty ballsy by Demaga as he is actually going ahead and claiming two more expansions right now. So Demaga looking to enter the mid to late game here. As we are going to see these Mutalists go up against this massive ball of stalkers. This is not where these Mutalists want to be. Both these Mutalists nearly dying. Actually, almost all of them dying. This Mutalist has one hit point left. So 
He is the luckiest SOB of the game right there. We do have some circling coming up here, and the, we just see some more units warping in for Duckload Raw. Duckload Raw is kind of caught off guard here, but there are too few mutilists to really make an impact here as there's too many stalkers. And we do have the Zerglings over here engaging this stalker ball as Duckload Raw is going to be occupying the high yield expansion here. So Duckload Raw is going to be in the middle of the map. Now this can be very strong positioning if you are able to defend it, but if you're unable to defend it, you're kind of leaving yourself out in the wind and setting yourself up for a lot of loss. Now we do have Duckload Raw coming out here, going to be scouting this expansion. Will Demaga be able to hold it? I am not sure. There are a, quite a few stalkers right here. This queen does look like she's going to go down now. However, we do see the Mutilus coming up here and are going to be focusing down these... going to be focusing down the stalkers. The stalkers are too few in number as we do have more Mutilus coming up here, reinforcing this ball, and we do see Zergling is going to be coming in here as well. We'll be engaging these Zealots. Now, Demaga is going to be aware that he needs to defend this, so he is putting some static defenses down as we do see two spine crawlers coming in here. Now, Duckload Rot is coming in with the rest of his forces. This is the main bulk of his army. Will it be enough? However, there are... Ooh, that's dangerous. That's really, really close right now. Is there are not that many Zerglings. We had to do more Zerglings coming here, but with nice force field here. Going to be denying the reinforcements. We do see the Zer Zergling trying to come up here, trying to focus on these uh, Stalkers, trying to take away some of the DPS from these Mutilus. These Mutilus are focusing down these Stalkers. Will it be enough, though? This is really neck and neck, as we do have more Zerglings coming in here, flanking the Stalkers. I do not believe the Stalkers are actually going to be enough here. There are so many Mutilus. And they are just on the edge of this force, so the Stalker not able to focus fire these Mutilus. And so many of these Glazeworms just bouncing around, doing so much DPS. And we do see all the Stalkers fall to Damaga's Air Force. And we do have more Stalkers here. Uh, they do have the Photon Cannons here now. They do have Blink now. They do have the Blink upgrade. And they are just going to get Ground level, level ground Weapons level 2. As we do see two Stalkers falling to these Zergling Masses, getting that surround there. These Stalkers are firing up into the Mutilus, trying to knock them down out of the sky as they're doing so much damage down as they just focus down that Photon Cannon. And we see there's so many Zerglings here, not enough Stalkers. The Stalkers are ind getting individually surrounded, and that just spells doom for those Stalkers. As we are going to see this ne Nexus fall, probably is... Uh, Duckle of Broad really doesn't have much in the way of an army right now. Let's go and take a look at the Unis type. Yes, he has one Stalker right now. I don't know what he's going to do. He needs to get some. He needs to get the ball rolling. As he does have a, he does have enough minerals to do something here. But I'm really not sure what what's up. He's just kind of uh, hanging out. Hmm. There we go. Finally getting some more stalkers up here. Duckload Rod still has some minerals left in his main. The natural is still highly populated. A lot of minerals left. I don't know why he's moving these stalkers out there. There's a lot of Zerglings right there. And the Mutilus could be showing up any time as they are actually over here. Killing that proxy pylon. <sighs> so Damaga really sitting pretty. He has four bases. His main is almost mined out. But he has a lot of units on the ground. Let's go take a look at the production tab. As he is bringing more units online. More and more. Duckload Raw is not really doing anything. He has a thousand in the bank and is not spawning any units as his cooldown for his gateways are up and I don't think this is going to be enough. Now we do have the stalkers blinking away trying to limit the, the effectiveness of these zerglings. We don't have the probe soaking up any sort of damage and Duckload Raw taps out as the Mutilus Air Force was just too much. All of those glaive worms bouncing around and just really raining on the stalker parades here. So we saw Damaga do a great job